Would you go back to Gaza? In a heartbeat. In an absolute heartbeat. Uh, my heart is in Gaza. It will stay in Gaza. The Palestinian people that I worked with, both our national staff in the office, as well as my staff at Indonesia Hospital, were some of the most incredible people I've ever met in my life. We, we lost a nurse weekend one. Um, he was killed when the ambulance outside the hospital was blown up. And I was texting them when we got the evacuation orders. And I said, did any of you move south? Did any of you get out? Like, are any of you coming down this way? And the only answer I got was, this is our community. This is our family. These are our friends. If they're going to kill us, we're going to die saving as many people as we can. And I said, if I can ever have an ounce of the heart that you have, I will, I will die a happy person. They were incredible. That my doctors and nurses didn't leave out of loyalty to their community. And I know that there is an idea being pushed right now that anyone that stayed behind is going to be considered some kind of a threat. And I want to remind people that the people that stayed behind are heroes. The people that stayed behind are, are they know they're gonna die and they're choosing to stay behind anyway. You're talking about doctors, nurses in the hospital. I wake up every morning and I send out a text message and I ask, are you alive? And every night before I go to sleep, I send another message and says, are you alive?